Hello, hello. Today, we're getting the first patch notes that we've gotten in a couple months. The last one was in June. Uh, I just thought I'd make a little video on it uh, since it just came out today, and I just might as well uh, take a look, talk about it. I've like uh, I skimmed through it um, just to make sure that it's worth paying attention to. But uh, let's take a, a look here. Uh, once I need co-op sign to distant areas with this function, summoning pools in Mogwin Palace will be excluded. Send summoning signs to summoning pools in multiple areas. Interesting. I I don't think that's been a thing in any FromSoft game. Uh, but that's not too important to me. Uh, balance changes. These are what I wanted to look at. Added the following adjustments to Greatsword Curve, Greatsword, and Great Hammers, I believe. Um, this pertains to the next three lines, and then it starts talking about something else. Um, so, reduce the time it takes for rolling to become possible. Uh, so, you'll be able to roll quicker after an attack, sure. Uh, motion speed of strong attack and charge attack, sure. Uh, and guard counters motion speed. Sure. I do not see people use guard counters, personally. Uh, strong attack, charge attacks. Not really popular in duels. This might affect PvE. Um, yada yada. Uh, but the, the roll time is good for them. Cool. Well, I guess, I mean, like, uh... Whatever patch it was helped out colossal swords and colossal weapons or something. Uh, so we're going the great swords, curved great swords, and great hammers. Whatever. Well, some buffs here. Uh, attack speed of great axes and reduce the time it takes for rolling to become possible. Same thing. And also the attack speed was increased, but for great axes, cool. Uh, increase rolling distance when player has a light equip load. I never use light equip load. Um, I feel like unless you're like a really high level, of light equip load is just usually not worth it. Um, PvE or PvP, but maybe this will help out a little bit. I don't think it will, but whatever. Uh, increase the hitbox of a uh, unblockable blade. Okay. I mean, sure. Uh, increase the range of Ash War, Glintstone Pebble, Glintstone Dart, but decreasing the damage and stagger power. So I think this is just a direct nerf in duels, but it might be kind of cool in PvE to just snipe stuff with your little. Ding, 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 you know, I don't know. Uh, decrease travel distance in uh, iframes of Ash of War Bloodhound Step. So I think this is to keep it more in line with Quick Step. I mean, at least to like, just like, keep it closer. Uh, so, uh, decrease travel distance iframes. I mean, cool. Uh, Bloodhound Step is pretty popular. Uh, and also, reduces performance when used continuously. Which I think is good. I don't know what reduced performance means. I usually just think of iframes. Like, you get less iframes. Uh, but it may also decrease the distance uh, on continued use. I'm not too sure. I haven't tested it. Whatever. And actually increasing the distance when on a light equip load. Now, I don't know if uh, if you were on a light equip load before and after, if you had more distance than uh, beforehand, if you have a light equip load, um, than what you would have before this patch, but whatever. And uh, shorten the activation interval when using Quick Step in succession, which I think lets you use it more often. I don't know if that's. I don't know how that compares with uh, Bloodhound Step. It might actually be better than Bloodhound Step if there's a quicker interval. I don't know. Uh, but it also has the same thing reduce performance and increase distance on light equip load. Um, and decrease the damage, finally. Let's go. Here's the damage and bleed buildup of Corpse Piler when hit with the blood, like the bleed attack, the blood attack. Uh, so this is the extended range. Uh, so you you do like a little motion. Um, whatever you hit with your sword is going to be roughly the same uh, at that distance, but after the sword distance, the extra like bleed distance that it for some reason has, um, it uh will be worse, which is good, and uh. Uh, the damage of the blade is also decreased slightly, but it's not nearly as bad. I don't know the actual numbers, but hey, it's getting a nerf, which is good. Because that thing is ridiculous. Um, utterly ridiculous. And decrease the tar target tracking of the sorcery stars of ruin. I don't really know too much about that, but sure, why not? Uh, well, I just want to talk about this patch. It completely messed up my recording today because it was like, oh, uh, inappropriate... Uh, behavior detected or something and I don't cheat or anything um, 
or whatever it thought was going on. But I like had to re re verify the integrity of my game files just in case like something happened. Um, and while that was happening, oh, oh, hey, look, an update, and we had an, we had this update, and I see why it was happening now is because it's completely, completely messing with me. Uh, well, we also have some bug fixes. I'm sure these are all good and fine. Uh, it looks like they also don't want uh, cheated items in the game. Um, yeah, in file we have fixed a bug that allows players to pass unauthorized items. Uh, after the distribution of this update file possession of usage of these items will be subject to warning or penalty. I don't know what items there would be. Like, I know there's like a, a talisman It's that uh, that does nothing in the game, uh, but is technically like, you could like cheat to get the item. Um, yeah, I don't know. Would this, so position of usage, like, so what, what if some like, player just drops something and then another player picks it up and it's an unauthorized item uh so the one that picks it up like are they gonna immediately like get banned or something like i don't really know what's gonna happen here i'm gonna assume it's gonna be pretty tame though um but yeah that was patch notes 1.06 um these updates come far and few between so i thought i might as well talk about it so i'll be out of here y'all have a good one